Hi there, Aaron here with uh, Maskins Mobile Studio. I'm just uh, going to be showing you a few little things you can do to uh, adjust your Windows 7 Digital Audio Workstation or DAW to enhance uh, audio audio work with your favorite uh, DAW on uh, your Windows 7 computer. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is open up DPC Latency Checker. It's a free download. It's uh, it, you can just go online, Google search for it, and uh, yeah, it just looks like this. And what it is displaying is a form of latency that uh, affects uh, your computer's performance with audio. So mine's here in the green, and it says that I should be able to handle real-time streaming of audio and or video without dropouts. Um, so we've got a we've got a few spikes here. Um, if you, you yours may will probably look different than this because every computer is different. Um, there's a few things you can do uh, to adjust or tweak your Windows 7 um, computer to be in a good uh, position to handle audio optimally. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do, especially if you have a laptop, is right click and go to Personalize and Screen Saver and Change Power Settings. And we want to make sure we're on high performance. Um, this is especially important if you have uh, if you have a if you're working on a laptop. Now you can go in and change further settings and tweak additional things, but uh, you definitely want to have high performance on. Um, so that's what the first thing you want to make sure you have done. Um, and then another thing you want to do is you're going to go to Start Menu, uh, Control Panel, and System and Security, and uh, let's see System and advanced system settings. Uh, here we're going to go into the advanced tab to the performance settings and uh, we go to advanced tab here. We want to make sure that we are adjusting for the best performance of background services. Um, this is basically prioritizing the uh, uh, the, the drivers for your uh, audio interface. Um, it's going to give you better performance with uh, with your audio so you want to make sure the background service is checked. Another thing you can do, um, if you don't have a dedicated graphics card, I repeat, if you do not have a dedicated graphics card, you should adjust for best performance. If you do have a dedicated graphics card, you should probably just leave it the way it is. Um, Windows 7, actually, uh, one of the things it does is it all the fancy aero graphics with the little semi-translucent windows, um, they are rendered by your graphics card. So if you turn it, if you have a graphics card and you turn that off, it's going to uh, all the graphics rendering is going to be going more to the CPU, uh, which means less CPU for audio. So uh, just to recap, uh, you're going to want if you have an integrated graphics or no graphics card, you want to select best performance. If you do have a graphics card a dedicated GPU, uh, I just say let Windows uh, decide what's best. Okay, okay. Uh, so those are some things you can do. Um, if you're still finding um, you've got uh, spikes here, probably the well. If you're gonna do anything, this is the probably one of the most important things you can do is you're gonna want to right click on your internet. We're gonna disable the internet because you don't need to be online when you are working with audio. So I'm gonna go to disable and minimize that. Follow, following that, we can also um, disable our antivirus. Uh, we don't need real-time scanning going on. Um, again, that's going to be uh, interfering with our audio work, so we've minimized that. Um, so those are the those things there, like uh, right-clicking and going to the power settings, adjusting for high-performance high mode, uh, switching the processor uh, scheduling to high, uh, background services um, is, is also important in disabling the internet. Um, so there are a few other things you can do. Um, here we're going to go to device manager and uh, the, the, these following things I, I wouldn't recommend doing unless you really know what you're doing. Um, so we're under the device manager. You can disable different parts of, um, of your computer or some of the hardware. So I, as you can see, I've disabled my FireWire chipset. Um, all you do is right click, uh, enable, or right click and disable. Um, you can, as you can see, the uh, 
Wi-Fi is disabled now. Um, basically any devices, uh, you can disable some of these things. Again, I would not recommend doing this if you don't know what you're doing. Um, disabling some of those things may improve your, late, your DPC latency. Um, and the other thing you can do is uh, right click here on the start menu and go to uh, start task manager and see the application set are running. Uh, you can go to processes tab. You can just again, I wouldn't recommend this if you don't know what, exactly what you're doing. There are descriptions of the processes here and you can disable ones that are not essential to basic Windows operation or um, or your audio work. So um, I can disable my printer, iTunes helper, and I can transfer. Um, again, this is just getting rid of back things that are going on in the background that will hopefully reduce your DPC latency. So I'm still getting some spikes here, but the overall latency is quite a bit lower. Um, I'm probably getting some spikes because I am recording this video, um, so there is some software running in the background. I'm going to minimize this, and well, that's pretty much it for this uh, little video tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed watching, 